What's up guys, your driver Mike here, back with another video. This channel is dedicated to the rideshare space, so if you're a driver, a passenger, or someone just interested in the rideshare space, consider subscribing. So if you open your Uber driver app, you may have gotten this. Using Uber this summer? Don't forget to check your ride. What this is, is a prompting from Uber and reminder for all of us about safety. Check the video here. We did a video about safety and we're going to go through this messaging and highlight a little bit here from the partner app. You can read this in full here. We're going to summarize. It's summer, which means barbecues, parties, and more people out and about using Uber to get from A to B. A great ride starts with your safety and with Uber, that starts with getting into the right car. While rare in partnership with law enforcement, we have been made aware of reports from cities across the country about rideshare scams. Unauthorized individuals may pose as rideshare drivers and target people who appear to be distracted or impaired. Some may offer to give free rides or discounted rides if paid in cash. We want to proactively educate potential riders about how they can avoid a potentially dangerous situation. One key tip for passengers is always to confirm the details of the driver and the car. Uber is going to give you a picture of the driver, the name of the driver, the first name, the make and model of his or her car, and the license plate. As a passenger, you should always double check one or all of these criteria to make sure you're getting in the right car. If the information does not match up, do not get in the vehicle double check your app. You want to make sure that everything in the app matches the vehicle at pickup. If you're a driver, you can help ensure you have the right passenger in your car by asking for the account holder's name before starting the trip. Guys, my number one tip for safety is asking what the ride name is under. Another good tip guys is to leave the car doors locked. If you see someone approaching your vehicle, you can put your window down slightly and ask for the account holder's name. A good question is just to simply ask, what's the ride name under? I would recommend really for most every trip to do this. Just simply ask, what is the ride name under? And they should have that available. Don't assume, especially in the bar areas, that the people or person approaching your car are your passengers. There are a few features that Uber highlights that heighten safety. GPS tracked rides from start to finish. Passengers can see their route and the location of their car in the app throughout the journey. Drivers and passengers know that there is a record of the journey, which creates more accountability. Passengers can share details of each trip in real time with family and friends including route and estimated arrival time. There, of course, is the two-way feedback system, which protects both drivers and passengers, and Uber does review and investigates any issues. Cross-street feature, which enables riders to enter their cross streets as a pickup or drop-off destination if they want an extra layer of privacy. And 24-7 email support that is ready to respond to any issues or inquiries. After over 2,000 rides exclusively during bar hours, I can tell you that I feel safe driving for Uber, that Uber is a safe and trustworthy platform. If you want more information about safety, check out that video. What other tips do you have on the passenger or driver end that can also heighten safety for passengers and drivers? Your driver Mike here. I do appreciate you watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to join your driver team. And I will see you in the next one.